This is the Sense Hat. It is a Raspberry Pi add-on board made by the Raspberry Pi Foundation, so it's an official Pi hat. It was designed specifically to go on the Astro Pi mission, which means that there is actually one of these currently up in the International Space Station with the astronaut Tim Peake. Now, it's a fantastic board. Um, it's got lots of crazy add-ons that you can get with it. It's got some sensors, such as barometers, temperature sensors, air pressure, has an LED board matrix that you can make some cool colors with. It's got a little joystick on it as well. It also has an accelerometer and a gyroscope built into it so it knows which way it's moving and essentially how fast it's moving. Now you can see here this crazy case was uh, what was designed for the Astro Pi mission and this is what is currently up in the International Space Station Obviously this has been built specifically to go onto the space station. Unfortunately you can't buy one of these at the moment. So once you've clipped this on top of your um, Raspberry Pi, so the first thing to do is to just plug the hat in top of the Pi and power it on. Then you're gonna to want to launch your terminal, CLI. We're gonna check which directory we're in, which is just in home Pi. And we're gonna run the command um, make dir uh, sense hat. Then we're gonna change into that directory. Once you've changed into that directory, you run this command, which you'll be able to see in the description of this video. What it does is it downloads some example files I've taken from the Raspberry Pi website. In, um, then you're gonna to want to run the command unzip sensehat.zip and it will uncompress all of those scripts. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna one by one run each of these scripts and you can see how each of these works. So here is my sensehat plugged into my official screen, Raspberry Pi screen. And the first thing we're gonna to want to do is run the command sudo python one underscore and then if you hit tab it will complete that for you and this is the text scroll.py i've had to dim the lights in my room because the screen is incredibly bright now this is going to scroll across the text that you choose to put into that particular script you can just open up that script with the command sudo nano and then the name of the script you want to edit so my uh, my text says zoe and william are smelly they're the name of my children now the next one is called two underscore text scroll 180. So what that's done is, is I have flipped the script um, and it is now running 180 degrees in the opposite direction. The third test is to um, OMG, it's gonna run the text and it's gonna show each, each piece of text one by one. This is just a picture that you can display to the screen. This is uh, again using the directional aspects of the code and you can move the arrow key up and down and this one the sensors are going to display uh, their current readings directly to the screen so we have the temperature the pressure and the last one should be the humidity we pumped straight onto the screen the seventh is the accelerometer so all I've done here is I've just picked up the pie and the hat on it and I'm just shaking it around and you can see how the X Y and Z axes of the um, gyroscope are all reading as I'm moving it around um, and in the eighth one we're going to look at the accelerometer you can see as you move it back to the side and then back the other way it knows exactly which way it's up and the little um, character I put in there the eye will turn as we do that For the ninth one, it's just going to display the temperature straight to the screen. The tenth example is going to show us the humidity straight to the screen. The eleventh one is going to show us the pressure straight to the screen. See where this is going. Okay, so this twelfth example is where we're going to use the joystick. So, in the real world, I'm just uh, wiggling the joystick around. And you can see each of those movements, up, down, left, right, are being registered. So you'd want to take this code and, and you know use it for your own means. And the last script, lucky 13. So on the last one, the 13th script, we can actually see here how the joystick is being uh, used to move this little uh, single pixel around the screen. It's very cool. So if you want more information, there are these links on the page here. I would recommend that you go and look at that. One is the official Raspberry Pi uh, website, and that's got some uh, tutorials and a bit more of a breakdown about how the actual code works behind all of this. The second link is one to um, Geek Girl Diaries by Carrie Ann, who works for the Raspberry Pi Foundation. And that's how you can make pictures, make your own pictures, 
and uh, code the pie to display them onto the screen in whatever you want. She's great, uh, she runs a great channel and I recommend watching that video. If you like what I do here, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.